All right, so welcome back. Now I'm about to do the disassembly of this headset and then reassemble it, having serviced it, basically. I'm going to service this threaded headset and forth. Hold the lower bearing lock ring in place, and I want to loosen the top lock ring just, just to get that moving, okay? So now that's loose. Now I can pretty much just hold on to the bottom bit and do the rest by hand. And what I'm going to do is, as I take pieces off, I'm going to lay them on this piece of paper next to my foot here. I'm going to lay things out in pretty much the order they came off so that I know I know what, what's happening. So then after that lock nut comes this, this plastic piece. It's a plastic guide for the, the cantilever brake wire, which I'm not going to use cantilever brakes, but I'm still going to keep this on because it's, a, it's a still a spacer and it keeps the uh, geometry right. We, now you can start to see the threaded portion. So this is the actual steerer tube. This is the part of the fork that's sticking up through here. So now what I want to do is loosen up the, the bearing that's already pretty loose. <clears throat> loosen this up and then this just will, will wind off by hand. And you can already see now there's play. So as I release that, now there's play in this. That means that it's it's obviously not tight enough to be a safe headset now. That's because I'm, I'm loosening it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So what that was, this is the the threaded. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's this. There's also a little tiny spacer here. This is a metal spacer. So you make want to make sure you keep that. And I'm gonna go through and grease all of these parts. And then this is the top. This hollowed out section here, I'm going to grease, and I'm going to grease the threads as well. And then that's this is the little bearing race. This is where the bearings pop into. Here is the bearing, the bearing setup. So there's this this solid metal ring that actually points upwards on this bike, and the the bearings themselves point down into the cup that sits in the in the headset here. So I'm going to put these all again in the same order that they came off and I'm going to orient this the proper way. So then I'm just going to go through and grease all of those parts when I put it back together. I've, I've already cleaned this, so it's all it's all dry now. Um, but it, it was greased and it was actually in pretty good shape, but I still wanted to overhaul it. This is what it looks like inside there. This These bearing cups are, are press fit into the frame. They're not coming out and I don't, I don't need to replace them. They look fine. And you can see how here how this is hollow. Now if I'm right, in theory, this old school, sorry, this new school fork should, aha, brilliant. So I totally could put a one and one eighth inch fork onto this, which is really pretty sweet. That's, uh, that's, that's great, but I'm not going to do that for now. I'm going to keep the old fork, but that's nice to know that it's future proof for um, another project another day. Then on the bottom here, this is the bottom bearing cup. Again, I've cleaned this already, but I'm going to go through and re-grease that. And then the last little bit is this. The fork itself has, has the bearings here, and then they sit on this little plastic. Uh, it's like a, it's just a seal protector for, from dirt that spats up from the road. And then you've got your crown race. This, this thing is crown race. It's, it's driven by pressure down onto the fork itself. So that, that stays in place. All of this will just get a layer of grease and then it will get reassembled. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna grease everything and put it all back together. Okay, so I've got my grease. This is my Park Tool uh, bike grease. What is it called? Polylube 1000 PPL2. Uh, one pound of grease. I've had this for a couple of years. I've only, I'm only like a quarter of the way through it, if that. So, uh, awesome product. Costs like eight bucks or whatever. Lasts forever. All of the, um, in all of the ends, the inside and the outside, and that the race itself has a little bit of grease on it. So I want it to be pretty well packed, not crazy. But I'm also just touching each of the ball bearings to make sure that they are they're rolling in place and they have they have good movement, which they do. So now on this bike, the the metal cage part goes down, so that will rotate on the crown race. So that part rotates on the crown race like that as you spin, and then this is going to go up into this, this bearing cup. I was messing around with the, uh, 
I was taking masses of stuff. So I was I weighed the mass of the fork. Eight hundred and here's the masses I have so far. Fork eight hundred and twenty two grams. Headset. So all the pieces that I have pull out there one hundred and seven grams. The seat post two hundred and a uh, three hundred seat post. 370 grams, bro. That, that is a, that's a part I desire to replace because that, that's a lot of mass for a seat post. Um, anyway, I'm sure it's tough as, but, but that's a lot of mass. Going to do the top side bearing, the upper bearing. I'm going to put this into into the cup. Now I'm going to hit the uh, the threads on the lock nut and and grease inside of the the space there. And I'm going to just, just going to put a tiny bit of grease on this spacer. I'm just putting a real fine layer where all of these parts are going to uh, interact with each other. And then finally, just grease on the threads of this top cap. You know, one last thing. I'm going to thread. I'm going to grease the threads of the fork itself. I didn't do that, so I've greased the threads real good. They were cleaned but not re-greased. Okay, fork. In place. Okay. Top. This is the important part. This is the, the threaded threaded lock nut that actually is going to hold the tension on the bearings. And all I'm doing is I'm trying to tighten it and then see if see right now I had I just a second ago I had a little bit of play in the fork. Now it doesn't have any play in it. Um, and now I'm just going to <clears throat> play around with the tightness on there. Apparently this is uh, a bit of a, a skill to get the tension on this perfectly right. If you over tighten it, then yeah, you can. I can feel this is harder to turn now. So I don't want it that tight. I'm going to pull it off, back it off a little bit. You also don't want it too loose. So it's a little bit of a It doesn't sound as whoa. I just lost power. All right, hang on. That's weird. Okay, pause. Well, the power is out in my house. Uh, it's been out for about 10, 15 minutes now. I've been just messing around. I checked, uh, checked my phone. The, the, the power company that I'm that I use um, doesn't have any reported outages yet, but I know that my neighbors also don't have power. So it's something semi-local. It's not within my own my own little house here. So I've got a tiny bit of light coming into this little basement window here. I have enough light that I can pretty much see, and I've got a headlamp, which may be sketchy, but it does the trick. And I'm actually just gonna keep working. So this may be awful for video, but I'm not gonna waste time waiting around for power. It could be on in two minutes. It could be on in three hours. I don't know yet. So. Um, I'm just going to continue on exactly with what I was doing, which was just tech checking the tension on this. And then it's time for the threaded top nut. And that's all greased. Got the spacer in. I've got the plastic spacer in. So everything's in position. Now the key thing here is once you get this hand tight, now what I want to do is I want to make sure I don't I don't tighten the the lock nut that does the tensioning on the bearing. I don't want to tighten that anymore. So I'm going to hold that one in theory. I'm going to hold this one in place and I'm going to tighten the top. 
because I don't want to add any more tension to the bearings. I just want the top cap. So all I'm doing is really I'm tightening the space from this this top bolt onto threading it as far as it goes. Okay, so I've got the headset on. I have it on there. I know that it's on nice and solid. There's no play, and this is pretty smooth. I'm willing to say that this is pretty good for, for now. Next step is going to be to add my quill stem adapter, put some, put some grease on here, and insert this to the at least the minimum. Oh, hey, hey, I had a feeling that might happen. Sweet. Okay, um, <laughs> power's back on. <laughs> Good news, push on. Uh, so anyway, so this worked pretty well. 